In this video, we're gonna have some fun making boonicorns. Let's get started on our awesome painting. So you can see I've got my beautiful, nice thin drawing brush. It's usually pretty thin. I put some plain black on there. Now what I'm doing is I'm breaking down the Boonicorn in shapes. You can see that we're just very slowly just wanting to get that nice shape just nice and ready for us. Now I'm making the bottom edges of our little Boonicorn here. You can see this one is going to be the girl one, so it's going to have some subtle differences on it. And now I went back up to the top and look at this. I'm going to change it up and make its little arm come out. I'm still using the same brush and the same paint and then watch, I connect. There I go, look it. And then I can go back and I can touch up and fix some things. Now you see I left it open on the top there for our our nice little spike coming out. Look at that. There's the horn. And now on the other, on the sides, I need to draw some ears. So look at these little shapes right here. They almost look like mini little horns, don't they? Yeah. Now, ooh, it's gonna get cool. We're gonna draw some eyes. I first draw a couple little lines. And then I'm going to just go up and over and just back down. And I just connect it just like that. Very good. Now you got to do it on the other one. Now you already know what to do. So you go up and over and down and connect. Way to go. Now can you guess what we're going to make? Yeah, that's it. We're gonna make its awesome, cool little happy smile. Look at that. That's a happy Boonicorn for sure. A nice little touch right here is actually making little circles as the eyes. Just barely touching the brush to the canvas. And then I fill in with plain black just around those circles on both eyes. And then I do the same thing right there on the mouth. I just fill it in. Again, we're just still drawing and now we need to make this look more like a girl. So what does that mean? Yep, there you go. Look at it. Look at those beautiful long eyelashes. That kind of gives it that nice feminine touch, you know, just a cute little touch to it. And it's real simple. Just three little lines just sprouting out the top of those eyes. All right. Now, we need to draw just behind. You can see I'm making this Boonicorn's hair. So I made like a little line go behind its ears, behind the corn, or the whatever, the spike. <laughs> and look at this, I'm making some cool, awesome lines for hair. Gonna have some pretty cool hair right here. Yep, there you go. Now, I'm gonna go over to the boy Boonicorn. And we're gonna start with its basic shape. This one's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna be facing the other direction. So you can see I made that swoop. And then look at that, I'm making its line for its nice little horn. And then I didn't connect, yeah, see, I didn't go through. And now I'm making another line just come right down. It's gonna go down a little bit further than the other line that you see on the very left. Now I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm just gonna make some, like it's cool little ghost tail. See, it's just like a little swoop. And then check this out. I connect both lines. And now there's my basic shape. Now you can start working on the details. Here we go. And we need to make some, oh, a big mouth. Look at that. And look at this, I'm gonna add something extra. His tongue, whoa. What else? Ooh, some eyes. 
There's one. See, they're different kinds of eyes. They look a little different than the uh, original one, huh? Right? Look at that. That is so cool. And I made some like little lines come out just to kind of give it a little more dimension. And now I'm going to fill in the top of his mouth and leaving that tongue of his just nice and plain white for now. Now I'm going to have his little arm come out. Look at his little ghost arm. And now we actually need to make one look like he's got an arm in the middle of his little body there. And that's just by making little lines just like this curving. And it gives the illusion that he's going woo to the girl boonicorn. And here you go. I'm just going to connect and make some awesome little lines. And then I'm going to do the same over on the girl. And just kind of make that spike a little bit more bolder. There we go. You've got your basic stuff. Now that you have drawn those out, we're going to let that black paint dry off, all right? It's just going to start drying off very quickly, and which means we can maybe concentrate a little bit more on some other things. We're actually going to be painting the sky now. So what two colors do you see that we need for our sky? That's right. We need some blue. Whoa. And we need some white. There you go. So put those on your palette. Get ready. I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to color it in and then also make these cute little fluffy clouds in the background. Here we go. All right. So I've got some blue and white on my plate or my palette. I'm mixing both of them, okay? So I'm mixing it up and making a light blue. And all I'm gonna do is just cover this up very, very quickly, just go all the way around my boonicorns. Now I just put some plain white on my smaller brush and I'm making these nice little circular motions just happen right in the sky. And that's gonna make our fluffy clouds. So you can make clouds all different. Remember, nature's not perfect. So all these clouds can be so different, but you just put a little bit of plain white on your brush and make some cool little circles, connect the circles and just start kind of going outwardly and you can see it's going to make some great texture and some pretty awesome clouds for you. Now your paint is still drying. Now that you've got your sky, that black is still drying. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some grass. So it looks like our boonicorns are actually floating in the sky. All right, so I what I did was I used a big flat brush. Now it doesn't have to be as big as this one, but you wanna have it flat. Now what I do is you're gonna see it. I'm gonna do it step by step on how to add this beautiful color. What color are we using for our grass? That's right, green. Look at this big green right there. Nice. That's a good one, huh? All right, so work on your grass. Let that black still dry off. Now I'm taking my big flat brush. I'm dipping it in some green, just very lightly. And there you go. You can kind of wipe some of them off on your plate. 
and now I'm just making little spikes. I take it on the flat edge there, and I just use the brush to my advantage. Look at that. I start from the bottom and just kind of swipe up real quick. That's how you make grass. Okay, so as you can see, our black is pretty much dried off completely. We've got some beautiful grass and some cool spikes going. We've got our awesome clouds and our beautiful sky. Now it's time to have fun with this coloring. So if you look at our bunicorns, they're really, really colorful, all right? So I'm gonna set that down right there and go over all the different colors that we're gonna have to use. We are gonna keep using white, all right? So make sure you have your white. We are gonna actually use more green. What's this color? We know it, that's right, blue. Ooh, this one, it brightens up. Yellow. And our really pretty vibrant color, just like my hat. It's red. Those are the colors that you're gonna wanna pick out and put on your plate or your palette, or whatever you got. And we're gonna do some fun mixing and make some beautiful colors for our bunicorns. Right now, our first color is gonna be pink. So I'm mixing a little bit of red and a little bit of white, and that will make your pink. I'm starting off with the boy's tongue just to test it out because it's a nice big area right there. And look at that, it is a beautiful, beautiful pink. And now you can keep using that same brush. So take a look at what other things you wanna paint pink. Like, look at this. I'm just kind of just going ahead and putting a little bit in his horn right there. I'm just using the same color. Look at that pink on my palette. And now I'm like, hmm, what else work? Where do I want pink? Oh yeah, let's add some in her hair. That's gonna be fun, look at that. That's a great, great spot, wow. That's fantastic, way to go. Be careful, watch out for your black and just be nice and just take your time. Here comes our beautiful bright color, yellow. Look at that beautiful brightness to it. It really, really makes it a lot more playful and bright as a painting can go. Yellow just really makes you wanna smile. And there you go, see I'm putting some in her hair and her unicorn top there. Oh my goodness, and now I'm like, you know what? I wanna keep going, I wanna, I wanna make another color. So look at this, I got some blue. And then what other? Oh, I got some green, and that makes turquoise. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some white, and that makes a light turquoise. So you can mix all some just different colors, and they come out to amazing, beautiful colors. And let's see how this turquoise looks. Oh, yep, that's beautiful. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's got kind of like a nice little pastel color to it. Very pretty. And one of my last colors, what I'm gonna do is make a nice little bit of orange, which is red and yellow. And then I mix, you can even mix some white in it to make it more of like a pastel orange. Or you can just add more red into your orange 
and that just makes it a little bit more vibrant. You can see I added a little bit more of that and wanted a little bit more vibrant color. And that is a lot of cool colors. Way to go, everybody. Okay, so I know that maybe when you're doing your coloring, it might cover some of the black and everything, but the next step is so cool. It's like one of our final touches on this actual painting is we're gonna go ahead and maybe fix up some of the outlines. I'm gonna get my nice little drawing brush, get some plain black again, and I'm just gonna fix whatever I needed to fix on my painting. And that's it, guys. We made our boonicorn. So I'm so excited for you. Keep painting, and we'll see you every Friday here on Brushing Up with Sean.